This changes everything. So you all know that I have been uh, struggling this year to get wood and run the outdoor wood burner and all that good stuff. Um, I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't want to buy any wood. I, I wanted to try to sustain ourselves off of our land. Um, it's been definitely a struggle. Uh, it's been a lot of work, uh, which, which I'm fine with. Um, but it's taken up a lot of time and it's been very hard for me to get uh, get a lot of things done around around here you guys have noticed the the number of videos has uh, reduced quite a bit over the last few months because i've spent most of my available time getting wood every single week i've had to go out four or five six seven eight hours a week sometimes cutting down trees gathering wood and all that stuff you guys have seen the progress with that so sometimes um sometimes you're just blessed and i have a, a father-in-law who you know heard that uh you know that i was heating with wood and that i didn't have a stockpile and all that stuff and he just decided to just be be uh, extremely generous uh, it was nice of grandpa wasn't it to come over here so my father-in-law came over here one sunday while i was at church and we were gone all morning and um he said he was going to come out and bring some wood, and I, I thought, yeah, that's really nice, you know. I had no idea what he was going to do, so this is what he did. He, he went out and had a guy bring a big dump truck out here and dump a bunch of split wood, and they stacked it all up for me. Him and he hired a guy to come out here and help him. He, he owns a construction company, so he, he hired one of his guys, paid him to come out and help, you know, stack it all up for me. So I came home on Sunday expecting to have to scrounge for wood, and, and this was here, so... Uh, thank you, uh, Mikey P. I appreciate it. Um, this is going to change everything for me this year. This is enough wood um, to get me through probably two months, uh, maybe even more. It just depends on the weather, and it, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So I can really start to focus on a few other projects. I've got all these animals and all this stuff going on around here, so. Um, this is this means a lot to me and uh, i really appreciate it i still have wood to get i still have to, i don't want to just not get wood anymore i still have some down trees i still have some friends and the neighbor wants me to get a few down the street and um, i still have a lot of wood to get and i have to keep ahead of it but this gives me a huge jump start and so i'm very very grateful um, and let me show you another uh amazing thing that i got that uh changes everything too so uh just it's been an amazing last uh, last week or two so uh, let me show you let me show you the other thing so look at that look at this you guys remember the the husqvarna that i had the rancher 455 i still have that uh, but as you know from the pallet uh the burning pallets video that, that chainsaw was giving me some issues it was um it was the carburetor wasn't uh, wasn't running right, so it sent out. I had to send it out to be serviced under warranty, um, but it was going to be gone for two weeks. And so my father, who had heard that I was uh, you know, having chainsaw issues and we were trying to heat with wood, he called me and said, "Hey, you know, I want to get you a new chainsaw." And I. I mean, you guys, I don't, uh, I don't take things from people. You know, I don't, I don't like getting things from people like this. I honestly don't. It's, it's really, it's, it's hard. I want to earn this stuff myself, but I tell you what, I, I needed it, and it was a, it was another just absolute amazing thing. Um, he didn't just buy me the cheap chainsaw. This is like, this is it. <laughs> This is the saw I wanted to get originally. Um, completely spoiled me. I know you guys are like, uh, this guy, what a jerk. He's, everybody's buying him stuff. But I tell you what, <laughs> this is just insane. It's awesome. 
Um, so dad, thank you. Um, hooking me up, man. This is going to be a, a saw for, for a lifetime. And, um, not that the rancher is not a good saw guys the rancher is a great saw this is the ms 362 c um i will do video on on this uh on this saw i will do a video on the rancher and the problems that i've had too because i, I want to help other people out you know i watched a lot of videos and stuff when when people when i was buying a saw to see what people thought but look at all that wood isn't that crazy look at all that wood that's a good old pile of wood but uh, that steel, I've, I've had a chance to use it. Um, this is, uh, I'll go into a lot more detail on another video, but man, what a great saw. This thing is, uh, has an automatically adjusted carburetor, um, fires up in any condition, has a lot more power. You can put a 25 inch bar in this thing, so it's a lot bigger. I mean, this is a professional grade. It's got a magnesium housing. This is a, a, not twice as powerful, but just about from the Rancher 455. Of course almost twice expensive too and it's and it's lighter it's actually a lighter saw so amazing uh amazing little saw so what does this mean well it means that you guys are going to get a lot more videos that uh, don't involve cutting wood probably uh, although i still have some some things planned um, i will <clears throat> go into a lot more detail on how i plan to just plan to manage the forest here um, cutting down trees, felling trees, and, and splitting and logging, and a lot of different techniques that I'll be using and tools and stuff like that uh, that, I, that I don't have, that I'll be buying and looking for this summer. So there'll be a lot more um, videos to come, but I'll probably will take a little bit of a break from cutting and splitting wood, uh, which will be nice. So, But a lot more videos to come. I've got some renovations coming inside that I'll be working on. I have um, stuff with some rabbits, uh, rabbit hutches and things coming up. Um, I've got a pantry project planned downstairs, a brand new pantry project. I still plan on doing a mini hydroponic system along with that. And so this will give me so much more time to get focused on that stuff and get this stuff done. I work full time. Uh, we volunteer a lot of time uh, and serve at our church. Uh, we have kids, sporting activities, after school activities, you know, all those kinds of things that every other family has, my wife and I both. And uh, so uh, you know, time is valuable. Time is time is a, a commodity that uh, you don't you only have so much of. So, so thank you guys uh, to my father and my father-in-law. Just you guys are awesome and uh, it meant a lot to me. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. <laughs>